Welcome back, everyone! I've actually finally had some more suggestions for what to put stuff on! It's amazing, isn't it? So I've actually been told I should probably switch out the red one for the blue one, so I did, 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 I did that. It was the same person who recommended the red one, so it was their own suggestion that they changed. Don't worry about it, it's not like I'm overriding someone with another person. That's, that's silly, right? I don't know. Anyway, Tears got a first aid and healing circle. Actually, the person who suggested this said just first aid or healing circle, but I decided why not do both of them, right? I don't know, that sounds like a good idea to me. So yeah, I did that, and they also suggested stalagmite. So that leaves me with two red ones, four blue ones, and two green ones. So, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want to see what all of these abilities do as of this point in time, because obviously I'm going to learn more arts later on, but as of this point in time, for all of these arts, I'll show you everything. Red, blue, and green. I have a video that's like about three minutes long if you're willing to watch that. You can see what those... The red, the blues, and the greens do. You can see all that stuff. It's going to be great. Well, I don't know. Not really. But anyway, it's time to move on, everyone. Let's go inside the governor's residence. Ugh, no one's home. That's a shame. How is there nobody home? The governor's in the back room. Please enter if you have business. I don't want to, though. I have no business, even though I really do. I just crash-landed here for no reason. <laughs> Jade! Oh, my brother's alive! Brother? Seriously? Hello, Nefri. It's been a while, hasn't it? Not since your wedding, I believe. What's going on? They said you were killed at Xeriuth. Well, what happened is... That's incredible. I'm just glad you're safe. We'll inspect the Tartarus. Once you're resupplied, please go see Emperor Peony. He's been very worried. Oh? Didn't everyone think I was dead? His Majesty was the only one who believed you were still alive. The rest of you, too. Please wait a bit while we prepare your ship. This is a tourist city, so I think you'll be safe here. I'll book a room at the inn for you. Please get some rest. If you don't mind, I'd like a word with you. Please come by again later, alone. Well, that's not suspicious at all, or is it? Can I go through this door? No, I can't. It was red just like the other door, so I assumed, eh, I don't know. This room was actually very similar to the other room, and this room right here. I don't know, they kind of look alike, a little bit. They're very similar in looks and style and all that stuff. Isn't? Wait a second, there was something back here, wasn't there? Or was there? Is this a house? It's locked. Oh, no. I wonder what house that could be. Could it be an important house that you can go to the back of the house for? No, apparently not. It's also locked. This person's very good at security. They just know, oh, okay, I'm gonna lock my house. This mansion was Emperor... This mansion is where Emperor Peony spent his childhood years. The mansion hasn't been touched since then. Huh. Well, that doesn't really look like a mansion, if I do say so myself. It just looks like another house to me. Seriously, everything in this town looks like, well, just looks like houses. Why is that? I have no idea. Anyway, though, back to the hotel, because I feel like it. I feel like having a nice rest. We've received word from the governor. Please make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I forgot something at Nefri's place. I'll go get it real quick. Shall I go with you? Nefri's a woman, remember? Oh, I love looking at beautiful women. Guy is most certainly... a guy. She's an older woman and married, you know. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean it like that. Master, I'll go with you too. Yeah, everybody just shut up. I don't need anyone to come with me. And yet, Mew's coming with them anyway. Good job, Mew. Alright, I guess we're looking around today. <laughs> looking? <laughs> Did I just really say that? Okay. Yes, we're looking around. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Back to Nefri's place. Hello, Nefri. I came because you told me to. What's wrong with you? Why did you request my services? Why me? Why not Tear? Why not Guy Cecile? Come on now. Jeez. I'm sorry. When I heard you were a replica, I thought I simply must tell you about my brother. What are you talking about? The reason why Jade created Fomagri. Even now, I still remember that day. I was careless and broke my favorite doll. My brother developed the basis for Fomagri and used it to create a copy of my doll, a replica. He was nine years old. Unbelievable. 
Normally, you'd simply buy another doll, but my brother created a copy. I felt something abnormal in his way of thinking. Abnormal? You don't have to put it like that. He acts nice now, but as a child, my brother was a terror, a devil. He could use phonic arts that adults found difficult. He enjoyed killing even harmless monsters. My brother didn't understand what it meant for living things to die. He doesn't seem that way to me. It was Professor Nebulum who changed him. She was a healer, a seventh phonist. Jade can't use the seventh phone on, so he admired her. But a tragedy occurred. He tried to use the seventh phone on and wound up unleashing a phonic art he couldn't control. Jade's phonic art struck down Professor Nebulum and set the building on fire. He killed her? She was still barely alive, just laying there. My brother looked at her and had an idea. There was still time to make a replica. He could save Professor Nebulum. Jade extracted her information and created a replica. But the replica that was born was nothing more than a monster. What happened to the real Nebulum? She passed away. After that, my brother's talents were recognized, and he was adopted into the famous Curtis military family. I think he probably wanted a better environment for studying how to bring back the professor. But he stopped replicating living things. Why? That's thanks to Emperor Peony. Those two are best friends. I see. But honestly, I think deep down my brother still wants to resurrect Professor Nebulum. I don't really think that's the case. Yes. It may just be a groundless fear, but I still wanted to let you know so that you could help to keep him in check. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. Thank you for listening. No problemo! Let me just get out of here. So, I presume Nefri's told you. Told me what? You're a naughty boy telling lies like that. How did you know? It doesn't matter. Though I will say for the record that I no longer desire to resurrect the Professor. Really? You're sure? You should know the reason for that better than anyone. I want to beg Professor Neblum's forgiveness, so that I might feel better. But replicas have no memory of the past. A replica cannot forgive me. Jade. I'll live the rest of my life pained by the sins of my past. Sins? You mean killing Nebulum? Hmm. Perhaps my greatest sin was not understanding the significance of life and death. If I had the ability to make replicas, I think I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Are you trying to cheer me up? You've somewhat missed the mark, but I appreciate the sentiment. In any case, you mustn't tell anyone of this. Understood? All right. That's a promise. You know what happens when you break your promises. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, everyone. It's so cold that Sorcerer's Ring is freezing my tummy! Cheagles don't like the cold, do they? I'm not fond of it myself. I want some wor nice warm sunlight! It may be a little cold, but the town is so beautiful at night, moonlight on the silver snow. Wouldn't it be splendid to walk with a gentleman through such beauty? Yeah, that would be so great! Ah, shoo! So cold! My belly's going to freeze solid! Ugh! Why do, you, why do ladies at resorts have to get so close when they come to talk to you? I can't even go outside at this point. It looks like we have a little hope with that group. What? What about the maybe not so bad after all, Colonel? I saw him walk off with a pretty woman earlier. What? There's hardly. But there's already three pretty women right here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, I think it's cute the way he's worried about the t his tummy freezing. Oh my. Well, <laughs> but what? Nothing at all. Best wishes. I think you make a fine pair. I was talking about Mew. I know you were. <laughs> Thank you.
The, the, the Tartarus inspection is complete. You can leave any time. Okay, shall we head for Grand Kokma now? Yes, we must inform the Emperor as quickly as possible about the danger of St. Bina falling. Yes, first let's hurry to Martello Bridge. Ah, and then we get, and then we walk from there, Colonel. If I get tired, carry me on your back, okay? I'm afraid not. Perhaps it's my age, but my joints ache, you see. <laughs> to get to Grand Kokma, we head northeast from the bridge and then pass through Theor Forest. It's a rough trip for an old man like me. You youngsters will have to shield me and lead the way. Um, yeah. There's no time to waste. Let's get going, guys. Thanks for your help, Nefri. Take care. Brother, please give my regards to His Majesty. Where was I on? <laughs> I didn't even think about that right there. Anyway, errors and excuses. Mew, what do you think about what Nefri said? What do you mean? About how Jade killed Professor Neblin. And then worked on Famicry to bring her back to life. I don't know, it's too hard to understand. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to ask someone. Didn't you promise not to tell anyone? Whoa! At this rate, it looks like you'll be breaking that promise in short order. No, I won't, really! Me too, really! Well, I still have my doubts, but I believe you, you yourself can understand why there is no point in discussing it with anyone. Yeah, nobody's going to make, going to make excuse, ugh, excuses for what you've done wrong, and you're not supposed to really be looking for them anyway. Indeed, if you put too much effort into making excuses, you end up running from your mistakes. Accepting the truth is a difficult thing to do. But it is also necessary. Yeah. Yes! Excellent. And you are, of course, aware that should you tell this to anyone, you will be punished. Y yeah. Yes! Alrighty then. I wonder what that punishment can be. Is that the freaking Tartarus outside? What is that? It just looks like a giant ship outside. It's like, hey, you see that? That's what you're about to ride in. I don't know why that would be out there, honestly. It wouldn't make any sense for the Tartarus to be just right there, because we're literally in a city. We are. We're not at the port or anything. I mean, we're about to go to the port, because that's where we gotta go, of course, in case you forgot. Well, in case you forgot, now you remember, because there you go. Woo! Well, anyway. I guess for today, I guess I'll tell a little bit of an odd story, I suppose. I don't know if actually this is the best time. I guess I'll get to that later, maybe. But right now, I guess I'll just say thank you, everyone. <laughs> because yet, yet again, well, you know, we got another milestone. 700 subscribers! Oh my gosh, I can't believe these ridiculous numbers. Oh. But no, seriously, thank you, everyone. I appreciate it as always, you know. Also, all 706 of you, I think, we're at right now. Thank you, everyone! Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that now. Cause you know I'm I'm goofy like that. Ew. What is that? Nope, nope, not that. Nope, not that either. Oh, that's it. Dragon Tempest. Well, that's kind of cool looking. Actually. Oh, okay, so that's Boy Tempest. That's what that was. Like, what did I just do again? I don't know. But either way, though, that's amazing. I suppose. I'll, I'll tell that story that I was gonna tell a little later on when there's more fights. Cause we're literally about to just go somewhere. So it wouldn't make any sense to talk about that right now. Anyway, I'm dead. I'm great at this game, aren't I? I'm just kidding. I'm kind of bad at this game. I should probably revive myself and stop being stupid, you know? I don't know. Why did I let myself die? How would I know? Maybe because I stopped fighting things for no reason. You know, I'm really smart sometimes. I say I'm going to do something, and then I get myself killed like, Hey, you know what? I'm great at this. Oh, no, no. I want to do this. Yes. There we go. Actually, wait a second. That, ain't, that would... Oh. Oh. Does it really look like that? Good Lord, that almost killed me still. Okay, 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 stop. Oh, stop it. Please get away from me. Tear. Tear, why don't you heal me? Don't make me center myself. Come on. That's not necessary. All right, I'm at full health now. That's why I really should look out after my own health sometimes. You know, I got centered. I could just use that. Why are these enemies so tough? I mean, I wasn't it like I was avoiding enemies for like 10 years or anything. It was just like avoiding for like 5 seconds or something like that. I don't know. Being really stupid. This is also a really long fight for just a basic enemy. At least I think so anyway. Come on! 
Come on, Wolfman! Oh, he did it. He did his thing. Ooh! That's new. And a new skill for Luke. Resisting! What is he resisting? I have no idea. I would never know, of course. Anyway, that was a long fight. A lot longer than I was expecting it to be, unfortunately. But oh well, doesn't matter, I suppose. Blah, blah, blah. Get out of my way. I didn't, I didn't ask you to be standing right there. Where did I? Depart? No! I wouldn't dare depart! Don't be silly. Oh, I was expecting a cutscene again. Okay, map, open up. Now, where is Rotelero Bridge at? I believe it's over there somewhere. I mean, not on this island with a thunderstorm, because, you know, that's just a random thunderstorm. Who cares about a random thunderstorm? I don't need to do that. No siree. I need to go for a bridge, because that's what they told me to do. I gotta listen to what they tell me to do. Also, someone actually told me what the size of this planet is, apparently, and I guess it's... Well, I mean, as expected, it is smaller than Earth, but it is a pretty sizable planet, actually. You know? Who would have guessed, right? Rotella Bridge boarding at a lighting point? Okay, sure. I like a lighting myself, you know? Can I get it? Oh. Now I'm, something, now I'm on Earth! I am on Earth, everyone! And then they said... What direction did they say after that? Northeast? It looks like it's probably in that direction, I want to say. I think that's the direction, everyone. What do you think? Is that northeast? That's northeast. I know my compass directions very well. Or do I? I should probably open up at least a little map. If I'm not going to use a big map, I'm going to use a little map. That just makes sense, after all. No, this is a big forest. Such a big forest. This forest is big. What? Nothing? No. Okay. Never mind, everyone. I was wrong. It's actually this way. It's actually very close, in fact. I was almost there. But, you know, I was wrong. Whatever. Theor Forest. Who are you? I'm Jade Curtis, commander of the 3rd Division Malkuth Imperial Forces. Really, Jade? Colonel Curtis! We heard you were lost in the destruction of Axerioth! My Count Osborne of Ketterberg will vouch for my identity. I seek an audience with His Imperial Majesty. Well, we can let you through, Colonel, but... What? This is Ion, Fawn Master of the Order of Lorelei! Come on, you can let us through? No, this could still be a trap. Even if you are from Doth, we must still refuse. Please wait here. Once I meet with His Majesty, they'll let you through right away. So we just hang out here. Oh well, guess there's nothing we can do. We'll escort you. Jade has left the party. Oh, that's unfortunate. How much longer is this going to take? Yes, it's hard just waiting. Why is Annis just punching a tree? She's not even making contact with the tree, but nonetheless, let's just assume she is making contact with the tree. Why is she punching a tree? What is she doing? <laughs> oh. What was that? Someone died. A scream! Let's go. Yeah, so let's break in for no reason, you know? That sounds like a great idea. Why not do that? <laughs> it's against the rules after all. Well anyway, here we go. What is this? Is this a pond? Come on, Mew. You can make a splash. Those were Oracle soldiers. Damn it. Oracle? Could Van be involved? What's he trying to do in Grand Kokma? Maybe he's working on destroying a Sephiroth tree. No, there shouldn't be a Sephiroth in this area. We're not getting anywhere standing around talking. Let's go get them. Yes. We cannot permit this kind of wanton violence. Wait. If we go in without permission and Malku soldiers find us... We'll just have to stay hidden. The last thing we want is a fight with Malkuth. Hide and seek, huh? Ion, please don't screw it up. Oh, right. Everyone just decided to go on in. <sighs> what was that about? Is Ion just bad at hide, hide and seek, apparently? I guess so. There's a soldier guarding the path. We'll have to distract him and make it past. Distract him? How? You mean, like, make a sound or something? Hmm. How about shaking the trees or such? More importantly than that, Luke, do you know which way to go? Um... 
Hmm. It's northwest from here. Grand Coke must pass the other side. Northwest, they say, huh? The movements of the Oracle Knights. The Oracle Knights are really moving quickly. They're always getting ahead of us. Yes, whether it's Van or Moe's who is giving the orders. They always work quickly and efficiently. Both of them ignore you too much! I hate them! Ion, do you know what Van has been doing since Exeer Youth? I'm afraid not. The only people I can give orders to are the Phone Master Guardians, so I haven't been able to search for him. The number of Guardians isn't what it used to be either! I see. Well, I wonder how bad it will be if the Oracle Knights get to Grand Cook before us! They might try to trick the Emperor like in Kim Laska! I don't think that will be a problem. Emperor Peony should be waiting for Jade's report. I suspect the Oracle Knights have a different aim. If we can find the Oracle Soldiers hiding here, we should be able to find out at least some of their plans. That'll be a start. Yeah, let's go find them! Alrighty then, rising tensions, who oh, no. knew? That Malku soldier. He thought letting us through could be a trap. Yes, Malku's Kimlaska relations appear to be deteriorating. Even with Ion here too! I'm sorry, I couldn't be of any help. No, that's not what I meant! In any case, things are looking pretty bad. At this rate, we really will have a war on our hands. We've got to get through this forest as fast as we can. And stop looking at skits because that will slow us down even more. Hide and seek. Sneaking through the forest like this is exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it feels almost like hide and seek. I haven't played hide and seek in years. But you were pretty amazing at hiding in those days. So you're good at sneaky stuff like that, huh? Well, excuse me for being sneaky. Well, like how like how you always ran somewhere else when you were about to be found. You were certainly sneaky enough for the rest of us. Huh? Well, I can still beat a mini J. A cute little body like mine is perfect for hiding. Oh, look, she's calling herself cute. What are you trying to say? I'm not cute. What do you care about a sneaky little a sneaky guy like me says about you? What? Hey, just you wait. I'll get his biggest tear when I grow up. Please, no way you could hope to match those melons. <laughs> what the? Melons? Both of you, stop. Stop being stupid and be quiet now. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Um, tear, you're being louder than both of them. So sorry. Yeah, well, that was an interesting conversation right there, even though I kind of missed some of it. Who are you? So yeah, I just walked right near those guys. We need to make a we need to make a sound to get their attention. Let's try shaking a tree. I see. Look at the surrounding area. I can do that. I see. I didn't know I could do that. Well, that's interesting. I suppose so I can go that way. I can go up here. Well. I mean, I can go up there, but I mean, it's not is it really going to benefit me. Eh, I don't know. This is always confusing, I suppose. I don't know. Is it confusing? Let's see. We'll attack a tree. Did it work? Mm, oh, it worked. He's coming. No! Who are you? I don't know why I goofed that one up right there. Look at the map. I should look at the map next time I fail. All right, I'll stay behind the tree then. We'll see what happens then. Eh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Oh. Why did I think I was going to fight him? What am I doing? Okay, check the map. I just want to see what this is. Oh. I see. So if I go over there. Okay. So maybe I want to go left then. That's whatever the heck I was doing a minute ago. Oh, boy. Let's see. If I hide back here, obviously that's not going to work. And then if I do that, ah. I can't believe it worked. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Okay, run! Ooh. Made it through, everyone! Made it through. Okay, I think this is where I gotta go, actually. Or is it? Or is it not? It's a panacea bottle. That's a no. 
Well, shoot, everyone. I'm sorry, then. I just goofed, apparently. I thought it was the right way. It actually was not. But what do I do here, then? Is this... I mean, this is just gonna get him off in that direction, then. And he's gonna be like, oh. Wait, can I do the Mew Fire? Oh! Oh. Oh. No! Okay, I tried... I tried to sneak behind him. Okay, so let's see. Look at the map. No, I don't want to look at the map now. So I want to get behind him, then. I'm pretty sure I want to get behind him. Or do I? I don't know, actually. I'm gonna try, though. Let's see. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Come on. Come on, man. Soldier! Yeah! I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> oh. I don't get by this guy. Is that even supposed to be a thing I'm supposed to get by? Or is he just like, no, I don't care. Oh. If I hit this rock, that doesn't do anything. But wait, seriously, how do I get by this guy? This guy is just gonna be like, nope, I know what's, I know what's up. No! Ah! Get away from me, Silver Sword. So, is this just an optional route? I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to get... Oh, I'm stupid. I don't really know. I don't really know. Come out from hiding. Defeat the enemy. Oh. Defeat the enemy and move forward. Heck yeah. Okay, I feel like that's what I did before. Because I... This is actually difficult. I'm not much of a hide-and-seek expert now. No, sir. No, siree. What did I get rid of? I got rid of the Great Sword, right? Oh, that's a pretty big improvement. Alright, I like that. I like that improvement. Alright then, no no mercy now. We're gonna fight whatever the heck we run into and it's gonna be great. Oh no, who are you? Fight me! This is kind of messed up. We're actually gonna kill right, soldiers go. now. Fangling. Why would we do that? Moku's Pawn, Watcher Wolf, eh. Alright, sure. Yeah, yeah, Wolf, you gonna... Tiger, Tiger Blade? Alright, nice pose, guy. Jeez. Alright, so Tiger Blade, eh? Eh? No, seriously, what do I want to put that on for? I want to keep center on there, actually, because that's actually a good move. Hmm. I don't know, actually. It's a good question. Tiger Blade's a basic art. I could get rid of Demon Fang. I don't know. I like Void Tempest, actually. I think I'll get rid of Crescent Strike, so let's see. A two-tiered slash tug. Yeah, let's go with that, then. I'll do that, and then blah. So, time to spam some Tiger Blade, if you know what I mean, right? Look at that. Look at that. He's so good. He's like, oh... I'm a Tiger Blade. No, that hits three times, right? It looks like it hits three times. Okay, let's see. One. No. Okay, that didn't work either. One. No, that's not it either, because I didn't even do a Tiger Blade, so I'm doing it prematurely then. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I saw three hits there. Good job, guy. No, he didn't. Anyway, okay, I think now that, I, now that I'm in a place like this, I... Oh. Oh. Enemy attack. Really? When there's more than one guard, they call for help when we defeat- Oh, okay, okay. Alrighty then, I got this now. I can do this then. So anyway, now it's time for story time here. I, I'm surprised, I don't know why. I kept wanting to actually talk about this odd little topic for a while, but I, I kept forgetting to do that. So, this is actually relating to the beginning of the game, actually. Where, remember where Tyr and Luke just went all hyper resonance and decided to teleport to the other side of the world randomly? Well, it's basically relating to that. There's actually, apparently, an alternate timeline where something completely different happens when that happens. Basically, whenever they do that... What do you mean I can't? What do I mean? What do you mean I can't? Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, so pretty much what happens is when you do the Hyper Resonance... Can I go this way? Apparently I can. But yeah, the Hyper Resonance basically does the thing. It teleports you to one place, but in an alternate reality, or it could be this reality, I'm actually not 100% sure, but... In some reality, be it this one or another one, basically, when they when they teleport, they actually don't end up... I can't get this, can I? How am I supposed to get this? I'm shaking the tree, dang it! Fire? No. <laughs> yeah, fire's gonna work, of course. Let me burn down the tree, what else is new? But yo! Yeah, they teleport to one place. In the alternate reality, they actually don't teleport to that one place where at nighttime, I don't know where the heck that location was, I don't remember, but well, I don't remember what it was called, but either way though, that location basically, they don't teleport there, they teleport to a new location, and this is actually where, this is where they come into a place, because a game called Tales of the World Radiant Mythology, this is where I'm going into anyway, Radiant Mythology basically, it has Luke and Tyr in it, and basically their side story is, they teleported there because they caused the hype resonance. So basically, they actually go into that world before the events of this game. Well, not really, but like after after the little hyper-resonance game. So basically, when they end up in that location, that's supposed...
Shut up, Luke. Oh, I think we already listened to that one. That's way too long. But yeah, the, so they end up going there, and basically by the time they end up back in that location for the story, when they end up back in the location for the story, they're like, oh, the, the, they pretty much have like no memory of it, or that's just a different timeline theory. I don't know, but either way, though, they end up back there after their adventure there, so I don't know. It's really weird. It's you should play if you play Tales of the World Radiant Mythology, you understand, but. It's like they actually go to a different location. It's kind of cool in a way when you think about it, though, because they actually find a way to make that connect together. Though, it does kind of make a little other things a little more confusing, though. Because they never really explain how the people from Tales of Eternia, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Fantasia, Tales of Destiny, they don't explain how any of those people join together in that same world. But Tyr and Luke, they're perfectly explained by their awkward situation of hyper resonance it's really weird and kind of cool we're almost at the exit have the oracle soldiers already entered the city and one last thing i want to mention the, the, the way they get back well i mean you probably would have guessed it already but they actually get back to their world through doing another hyper resonance so that's where they end up in that place yeah kind of interesting i think anyway there's a Malku soldier on the ground. Oh, hello. Not bad for a princess. You're the one we met in the desert. You're Largo. So you're the intruder. What are you doing in Grand Kokma? You'd better keep an eye on more than just what's in front of you, boy. What? Guy? Whoa, whoa! What's going on? Plot twist! Oh no! The curse slot! Sink must be nearby! Just kidding. Don't forget about me. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Not bad, princess. Oh, another earthquake! Natalia, up there! The earthquake gave me away! Are you after Ion or something else? Who's ordering you? Grand Maestro Mose? The Commandant? Either way, it's the same. We need Phone Master Ion. We thought he'd perished along with Xeriuth, but I guess he's tougher than the town. How dare you speak so shamelessly? You destroyed an entire city! Don't accuse us. The one who destroyed Xeriuth was that replica there. What's going on here? Largo, we're retreating for now. I guess we have no choice. Hello, Sink. <laughs> Who the hell are you people? We spotted some suspicious figures while waiting for Colonel Curtis. We pursued them here. You mean the people who just ran away? They're soldiers of the Oracle Knights. They wounded one of our companions. But you've got Oracle Knights in your group as well. Arrest them! I guess we shouldn't resist. Of course not. The floating capital, Grand Kokma. Brigadier General Frings, good work. We'll take them from here. I trust that won't be a problem. Understood, sir. You're Luke, correct? Son of Duke Fabra? How do you know who I am? Colonel Jade asked me to go meet you outside Thayor Forest. Though it seems you entered the forest before I could do so. I apologize. Malkuth soldiers had been killed. We thought it would be dangerous not to act. Don't apologize. We should be thanking you. But with all the commotion, I'm afraid I must treat you as prisoners until you meet with His Majesty. Who cares about that? Guy needs help. He's had a curse slot placed upon him. It's so deep he can't fight it. I can remove it if you'll lend us a place where he can rest. You can do that? I'm probably the only one who can. This curse is a type of Dothic phonic art, a phonic art passed down only through phone masters. We'll get you a room inside the castle. What about your audience with His Majesty? 
I'll see His Majesty the Emperor at another opportunity. Right now, I'm worried about Guy. All right, I'll leave my men with you. I'm staying too. I'm Ion's guard. Wait, so am I. I'm sure you'd find out sometime, so I guess I'll tell you now. A curse slot can't be used to take full control of the target. What does that mean? A curse slot stirs up memories and paralyzes rational thought. Guy wouldn't have attacked you if he didn't already have a strong desire to kill you. That's what it means. What? You mustn't get near Guy until I've removed the curse. How about taking a look around the castle for a while? You can't leave the city, but it might help you to relax. Yes, I think that would be good. Very well, then. I'll be waiting in front of the castle. Please speak to me when you're ready. Alrighty, sounds good to me. Let me be alone for a while. No, Luke, don't be alone. Guy's true feelings. Guy hated me, but he never showed even a hint of that. Maybe there was something when we were kids, but if he wanted to kill me... He could have done that any time he wanted to. But he didn't. He's always been there to help me out. So why? Well, maybe you'll never find out, Luke. You ever think about that? Welcome to the floating capital, Grand Kokma. And you... Did you know Grand Coke was sitting on top of the water? But it doesn't bounce around on the waves or anything. Really? That's interesting. Why is Mew not here? Mew, where'd you go? Why are you with Guy? Is this the inn? Yes, it is. This is one of the most famous hotels in Grand Coke. They've got water running through all the rooms. We have to go see Emperor Peony. Well, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> no, no, that was that was horrible. I'm sorry, one. That was really bad. Ugh. Okay, shopping center. Hmm. It sure is convenient to have all these shops in one place. I came here on an errand from Casadonia, but they didn't have what I was looking for. Well, you know, maybe you should check with them before you drive all the way out here. Or walk. Or go by ship. Or whatever the heck you did. I don't know. You probably didn't drive because there probably is no cars in this era. I don't freaking know. Or this universe. Well, anyway, let's see. What do we got here? We got a silver sword. Eh. Fox? Yes, a sword with a blade like a scythe. I like a Falks, thank you very much. Mutt, mutts, mutts, uh, whatever. Yes, mutts, everyone! So many mutts. And what about you? You got food. That's cool. Is it food from Endgave? Our stock is important. Directly from Endgave and Kettenberg! Oh my gosh, new location. Finally, it's not just Endgave. But they still have Endgave food. Oh well. Doesn't matter, I suppose. Life bottle, eh, decent. That's not bad. Anyway, what about selling things? We need to look at that here. That, that's six. That's more than it was before, right? Eh, wait. Okay, yes. This is six thousand. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay then. But yeah, there's six thousand nine ninety nine. That was more than the other location. It was like five thousand in Doth, I believe. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you again. Actually, I should talk to you again because we need to. Why are we? We just always run out of orange gels, apparently. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just keep restocking my orange gels, because why the heck not? Anyway, though, everyone, I think this time I'm gonna just say no. I'm not gonna go to a save. I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> so much no. Oh my gosh, Luke, what are you doing? Stop spinning in circles! <laughs> I'll see you later, everyone.